Morning, it's uh, Johnny Boy. Um, I'm down here in Cornwall and uh, we've had a, a landscape survival meetup and uh, some of the guys had a real late night last night, literally. I mean, they did a post uh, that they were up sort of 2.30 this morning. That was then, so God knows what time they went to bed. Uh, these these meetups are uh, to bring contractors a little bit closer together and it's happening and uh, through the group, but also with suppliers and uh, manufacturers and that's happening and uh, just a great bunch of guys met last night and uh, it's amazing uh, little Andy Lloyd drove all the way over to uh, Lincolnshire from Manchester and um, picked him up picked uh, a lad up Brad picked him up and drove all the way down here to Cornwall 11 hours and uh, that's unbelievable it just goes to show how the group works. Uh, we're bringing people together and uh, people are learning from each other. Uh, that was a hell of a journey. I, I'm just a totally amazed by that. It's incredible. And um, guys meeting up last night and uh, so pleased that they're here. They've, it's like as if they're relieved to be here and, and sort of share their stories and talk to other landscapers because contractors across the country generally they don't talk. So we're having the meetup at Glen Humphreys' um, uh, his yard this morning and uh, the, some of the manufacturing suppliers will be setting up there. Guys will be able to mingle around, they'll be able to have a talk uh, at their own pace now. Always when you have these meetups, guys will have a pint and have a beer and it's always a, a bit of a rush, but I think they'll be able to take their time today and um, let's see if we can get some uh, footage of, of that happening today. So let's see what it turns out. <laughs> so how was your night, Mike? Fantastic. Did you meet lots of people? Yes, wonderful. Unfor wonderful. Unfortunately, there's a couple of guys which I want you to meet. They 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 can't make it. One's pouring a concrete foundation had to be changed, so he's doing it. But um, but it's been good, though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Fantastic. and can't wait for today. Yeah, be good. Well, we've arrived at uh, Glen's yard, and uh, there we are. There's some hero board there. It's changed a little bit from last week contact over here uh, local builders merchants setting up there's Lee up there from Aspect setting up in the one shed Glenn's got his G GHL awning over there and I think the Ruby guys are going to be setting up in in that barn over there as well like so difficult time of the year uh, guys are still working waiting for money to come in so we've had a, a few that have pulled out last minute but that's how it goes unfortunate but we're here and uh, from small acorns, as they say. Cost. What have you lost? What have you lost? The cap for the. Yeah. You're just setting up, aren't you? Now, aren't you? I've lost it. On camera now. Come on. Who are you? And then um, Sam from Contact, we're glad to be here at this little meet up today. Yeah. And um, we're having a bit of a get together, a few guys in the industry, um, just showing what we know, what we can do. And, and you products. do the corn, the Cornwall show every year, don't you? We do the Cornwall show every year. I've seen you guys on there. We do it with Glen Humphreys. Yeah. Um, we work together as a bit of a team, we have a design done, and then we introduce our products into the show. Um, we get a good football there, about 20,000 people. If somebody was coming down here or they wanted to. Uh, to find you, where would they find you? Where are you based and so, your web your web address, etc. Yeah, so we're contact we're contact Natural Stone. Our website is contactlandscape.com. Get on there, you'll see what we do. And we're based in Austin, Cornwall. Mm. We supply all to Cornwall and Devon, and then further afield. And we've got a large stockyard, and we do a big range of natural stone, which includes a lot of English stone, boarding stone, and paving. Some imported, um, but having a background of actual insulation as well. You know. A lot about how the stuff goes into the ground. And yeah, yeah. And we also um, work a lot with local local contractors. We've uh, we're at Glen Humphrey's uh, yard now today, and Glen uses you quite a bit for different yeah, things. Yeah. yeah. So we work Glenn, good working relationship. Lovely working relationship. Glen buys stuff off us. We use, often recommend Glen. Use Glen as a subcontractor mm. when people want an in-house. Um, work done by us do you believe in really developing a relationship with your your client best like base like your contractors do you, do you really work well with them absolutely we work mm. with them we give them whatever they need to do to get their projects 
whether it's samples, whether it's time on site. Um, whether so it's you'd visit site if they, yeah. Visit site, we'll work through as many samples as we'll work with designers, get stuff specified, work with technical um, manufacturers like Dzif and um, subject people. You know, with um, you know, like say for for example, if if a contractor was was working on a, a project and needed some help with quantifying, yeah. would you help with that? Absolutely. Yeah. So we 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 really give our expertise and what we've learned about products, and then we also work with them as far as quantifying the project, advising what project what products will work well, um, and then often the clients' demands and expectations come into play. So we, we sometimes end up by people doing a bit of mediation between and advising them on what would be suitable and then bringing other products into their into the mix to help them sort of yeah. fulfill their dreams. If um, you, you, you know like in the local area th- th- there's there's a lot of contractors that co- are you do you find you're fighting for their for their their custom or is it it's a fairly bitterly fought market I'd say yeah. um, it's in Cornwall we've only got a certain amount of um, business to be had and contractors are going to be targeted by a lot of say, national companies um, we sort of find us place ourselves as being quite unique in terms of our product offering we're not just your average stone importer doing the average stone range that every other builder's merchant can supply and we've gone out there developed our own products like our tumble stones indigenous British products yeah. that we can offer that are still affordable and not completely out of someone's budget. So it's more our product often is unique to contractors, so we're not going head to head with the average builders merchants. I think the, th- the thing I found interesting when you explained it to me, because Cornwall is a real tourist area, so you have this real influx of migration of people coming down here during the, the summer period, and does work really pick up then? Yeah. So Corn- Cornwall's main income is tourism. And you could say that tourism only, only filters back to the bed and breakfasts and the ice cream shops. But what we find is that that actually filters down into every um, industry income stream. So people are going to be investing in their properties, um, and then people buy a lot of second homes down here, which is a large percentage of our market. It's running to building contractors for people who are spending anything between half a million up to, say, four million on a home. Um, we get our product specified and then also chosen by the contractors and the, and the homeowners themselves. Um, to be sort of it's, it's a bit of a funny one because you've got to really make those projections when you get that influx of people coming down here to order your material to service your end users, haven't you? Is, is that difficult? It's difficult, yeah. And when would you start that process? You know, so Some of our projects are taking, say, two up to two years from first contact to actually seeing it, seeing it commence on site mm. um, and then you've got effectively be thinking about your um, stock demands in and around that and be looking three years ahead on both what you're going to sell and also on trends as well because some products are going to drop off yeah. and you're going to have to be constantly thinking about other stuff, what you can do with products because we've got, a, we've got a limited amount of stone um, yeah. that we can deal with so the things we can do to it um, and finishes that we can apply to stone that's going to make it unique. So we've, look, we've done the serious stuff. I'm going to come around later on and have a look, see what you've got here. You've got some really interesting stuff here, but let's lighten this up now. And uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do, you, how do you rate young Glenn? It's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. He needs his money. He needs it. Thank you. Morning, guys. Hello, mate. You're branded. Oh, Who, we yeah. Hello, Who, no. you? Who we got here? Hello. Who we got here? Oh, why Nathan? Nathan. And who's it? <laughs> And Jeff. And Jeff. I oh, know Jeff. What have we got here then? What's, oh, two, is this a new one? Brand new one? This is a GX. 250. Nice. This is the meter long version. Obviously it's quite portable. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Loves it. <laughs>
Oh, John. Yeah, good. Anyway, John reckons he's silent but dead. He's on video now. And John, just tell us who you are and where you are now. Cornish landscaper based in Newquay. And you're talking to? Ethan Mason. And Mike in it. So do you think you could possibly do some business with him in the future? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we were yeah. chatting about it last night and it's looking good. So I'm going to show John our products now. Yeah. And uh, see what you think. Yeah, but what sort of work are you doing where you could use Mike in what sort of areas? Just Is people... Hard, hard landscaping, basically. Yeah. Is people using like sandstone or yeah. more sandstone than porcelain? Much more, yeah. Wait, is that because that's Cornwall? That's the, that's what's going yeah, on, isn't it? Yeah. Glen does a bit of porcelain, doesn't he? But yeah. Uh, I think there's scope for the porcelain, but yeah, most of ours are sandstone at the minute and limestone. Just want to ask you a question: How valuable do you think these meetups are at like this now? Talking to suppliers, does it help? Yeah, definitely. Broadens your horizons a little mm. bit. Not just I think it's key, isn't it? Communication, yeah. talking to people rather than being on the phone, one to one. I think it's a must, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. I'm not putting words in your mouth here, am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what have we got here? What are we doing? What grass have you got there? Grass. Yeah, and which one have you got there now? This one is uh, Sydney. The Sydney. Yeah. Have you used any of these that we've got on here now? I've used Tokyo once or twice. The Tokyo? Yeah. I've never seen that one. Yeah, I've used that one, but the one I like to use is called Cans. It's a uh, slightly smaller pile than that, because that's 30 mil pile. Right. The other one's 25, but I think it looks a bit more realistic. In your opinion? In like, my opinion. Yeah. And when the customers got it down, I think it's like a real wall. Do your customers listen to you? Yeah, not really. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes, there are a lot of people try and sell the deer a grass. I, mm. I try and sell the most realistic grass. And can I just say something, right? Um, you've impressed me. You really have, right? And you, you've epitomised and you've shot me what this group is about. You, can you tell us about your journey down here? 11 hours. Driving. Yeah, from yeah. Manchester to Cornwall, but you went via somewhere else, didn't you? Yeah, I went to Pit Mick Hucknall, uh, uh, Mick Hucknall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gingerbread from yeah. Um, Lincolnshire. And that's admirable that you went all the way across to the Lincolnshire from Manchester. Yeah. Never met him before. Are I think that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Are we off the group, we're all chatting on the group. And obviously, we're going to pay so many amounts on the train. So, why do that? Give, 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 well, we're going to pay 150 quid on the train. So, give me 80 quid. I'll and, come up, pick and that's up, good. And I'll take you back. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Well done. Yeah, there's a couple of few people here today. Obviously, we've got our sponsors here. So we've got Ethan Mason Paving, we've got Chris Ayres, we've got Tudor Grass. Um, have a look around all their samples. Have a good look, take it home with you. We've also got some local boys with us. We've got our contact man, Tech Supplies. Um, some really, really good guys. They are, they'll supply the whole of the UK. So if there's something you're particularly looking for, or something that you really, really need, they'll import and they'll send out food to you. So, and they'll wealth of knowledge. So if you want a little bit of expertise on a certain product, a little bit bespoke templating or something like that, they use guys to go to because they are they are really really on it. Hopefully later on today we'll have a bit more mark coming. This one is a direct drive because the motor is underneath and the blade goes directly onto the motor spindle. Okay, so it's a direct drive. On this one, they're both punch cuts.
class, you only you can only do it once. So if you go over it again, you it. can't. Yeah, that's yeah the on ceramic tiles, it'll it'll change. Is that five ten? End of the day, it's all over. Glenn's cleaned up there. I think he's having one more pasty up there. Um, it's been a busy day and it's been a successful day. Um, I like to think that uh, suppliers, manufacturers, and uh, landscapers alike uh, got a lot from it. And uh, it's quiet now. <laughs>